Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Zealous Tutorials. So today we are ha having a look at a song titled As I Am by Hillsong Young and Free. So this is quite a simple song. Um, it's the same, pro pretty much the same progression throughout the whole song with a few variations here and there, but we'll get into that. Okay, so let's start with all the chords that we'll be using in the song. Okay, so the song is in the key of B flat. Okay, so that's important. It's always important to know the key that uh, you're playing the song in. Makes your life so much easier uh, when you're trying to improvise. Okay, so the first chord that we are using is a B flat major chord. Okay, so this is root position. Um, another important thing is to be able to play all these chords in in the inversions. Okay, so this is first inversion, and this is second inversion. Okay, so in the intro, uh, you'll see me play in first inversion and some parts of the song I'll be playing like this. If you're still a beginner, I mean, it's okay to play root positions. There's, yeah, there's no harm in that. Okay, so the second chord is F major. And second inversion. Next chord is the E flat. Okay, so you'll see me playing it in this inversion, in this inversion, but this is root position. S uh, the fourth chord is a C minor. This is root position. Um, it's the second inversion, and also you'll see me playing it a uh, C major seven. Okay, so whatever you're comfortable with, these will pretty much work. Okay, and another chord is the E flat major seven. F minor seven. Right, so those are all the chords um, that we'll be using in this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started with the verse. So the song, actually let's get started with the intro. Um, the song starts off with the intro that sounds something like this. Okay, so first chord is a B flat major, followed by F major to E flat major, and then we end off with the C minor. Okay, so let's talk rhythm for a second. So you'll notice that the C that the last chord C minor is sort of like syncopated and that's because it doesn't fall on the downbeat it falls on the two the second beat so I'll put up a grid so you can sort of follow along on where each chord falls on okay so the first three chords pretty much fall on the downbeat which is beat number one so it goes like one two three four one two Okay, 
so the C, the C minor chord, which is the fourth chord in this progression, it will always fall on the second beat. So that means when you get to the E major to the E major chord, um, you will delay playing it on the one and only play it on the two. Okay, so yeah, I hope this picture on top makes it sort of clear as to where the beat falls. So this goes out throughout the whole entire song. Um, all your C minor chords will fall on the second beat. So now let's move over to the verse. So we're still playing the same progression. Um, but I tend to use uh, lower inversions. So I, instead of playing up here, I'd play down here. Yeah, so because you're using the same chord progression throughout the whole song, um, to add a bit of variation, um, that's what I do. I sort of like change up the, the inversions. Sometimes I'll play it up here. And then when I get into the verse, then I'll play it a bit lower down. Okay, so now I want to head over into the instrumental that's played after the, the chorus, I believe, um, which is pretty much your biggest change in the song. So they basically substitute the F major chord for F minor seven, and they substitute E flat major for E flat major seven. So it sounds like this. So let's start from the top. So you start with the B flat major chord to a F major seven chord. Sorry, F minor seven chord. Into a E flat major seven. Into C minor. And this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so other than that, the song will use the same progression over and over. Yeah guys, so thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that this was able to help. And as always, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you've got any song suggestions for me to cover or to teach. And see you next time.